sure. Go ahead, Chris. Just overall thoughts on spring and what you saw from both sides of the ball. Yeah, I thought it was good. Uh, physical, tough. I think we're calloused. Uh, I think it was a fun spring. I think the boys got after it. So excited for the progress we're going to make into the summer. And of the spring game itself? Yeah, same. Yeah. Really good. A uh, couple penalties. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I think the guys competed. And they had a lot of fun. So that's, that's what I wanted to that's all I wanted to see and made sure no major injuries. Isaiah? What have, what have you seen from the quarterbacks throughout the course of spring? And has anyone kind of emerged as a leader at all? Uh, everybody's getting better. So I think that'll go into the summer to fall. So we'll see when we get to fall camp. All right, Noah. Anything in particular you're looking for in the transfer portal as you move into summer and fall? Uh, we'll see. Uh, different needs, different spots. I haven't given all the particulars, but. Um, we'll see how we progress. I'm excited for the, for the building of this team. All right, well, Joe. Troy, I know it's not that big of a transition because you've been here and you were the acting head coach, but now that you are the head coach, have you found challenges, obstacles, things that you didn't expect? Has it been different in any way? Oh, uh, just different in the fact that it's not as much football. Uh, you know, I used to sit in a row with two big screens <laughs> and watch football, you know, all the time, but less of that and more of managing an organization on a daily basis and just keeping our alignment and keeping our process the same so that's really been the biggest difference for me. Has it been smooth? Huh? Has it been smooth in your mind? Yeah it's been great. I mean there's things that go on every single day that you that are different that you didn't that you didn't have to handle and uh, excited about everything that that, that it has been gone on and just want to keep progressing. The middle plate. Who out of the the top guys on the defensive line even took a, a bigger step forward uh, this spring, and then could that be the strength of your your team is on the defensive front? Uh, I think shoot, I mean, it was it's fun to watch all of them: Mason, KG, Derek Moore, Josiah, and then you know a guy that you know we all talked about was TJ Guy, and he took steps. Trey Pierce took steps. Anoeta took steps. Cam Brand took steps. Um, you know, Kumba. Uh, it was fun to watch him, our true freshman, Dominic Nichols. I mean, there wasn't a guy that took a step backwards or stayed the same at all improved. So just excited to watch all those guys progress. We'll see uh, who the strength is. You don't ever know until fall camp. All right, next to him, Anthony. Uh, Fred Moore and, and Kirk had kind of mentioned the lack of numbers of wide receiver. I'm curious, you know, from your perspective, the fact that that was a little bit lighter this year, do you think helped those guys that are stepping into bigger roles just get more reps? Yeah, you only get better at football by playing it. So those guys got more reps, and uh, it was good for them. So I think they've, they've continued to get better, and i uh, excited for them. On the left here, John. You obviously know what you want on an offensive line. Uh, did you see good steps forward with, uh, with this group that uh, is trying to come together? Yeah, uh, it takes time. Every year, every spring, everybody's like, oh, the O-line this, the O-line that. And, I mean, last year, Trevor Keegan would yell at me, not, you know, we're not there yet. It's like, Trev, it takes time. You need a fall camp. You need summer. You need a fall camp. You need a couple games. Uh, so, But they're all progressing, it, and they did a really good job this spring. So uh, super cool to see where they've been and how they've grown and how guys have taken steps uh, positively and, and excited for them. On the left here, Ryan. What was your message to see Barry when Rod went down, and what did you see from him this spring? Next man up, uh, he's been great. He's been outstanding, actually. So uh, he's taken it, taken the opportunity and, and ran with it at a high level. On the right there, Angelique. Yeah, he'll be in it. I mean, we talked about this as a team, as a staff. I mean, the dudes that he backed up were Michael Penix and J.J. McCarthy. So uh, he's got talent, and, and we'll see what happens when he, when he gets to ball camp. Also, in terms of the, the NCAA penalties last week, how does that affect the right now? Yeah, I can't you know, comment on anything. Uh, the program was going to comment on that. So. On the right, Reiner. Because you're going to get me out of your first one. Why do you think recruiting has been kind of slow to this point? Expect that to change. Yeah, not really slow. Just we're this process and how we do things and we want what we get. So I uh, can't comment on recruits and when they recruit, when they're going to recruit, when they're going to commit. So we're taking it day by day. We're going to find the best fit for us. 